we go. Here we are with another Spectate and Bronze bingo that we have today. I'll put the bingo card up on the screen. So today, we're going to be spectating a Bronze tank who usually plays support, but wants to keep getting better at tanks. So we're going to be watching this, see how it goes. I'm ready. I hope you all enjoy. I hope you've been enjoying the Spectate and Bingo videos. On top of that, I'm curious, what are some heroes you would like to see in Spectate and Bingo? Uh, let's say that we get a VOD that's submitted. Uh, what are some heroes you're looking for? Maybe even maps that we can we can do that on. Um, on top of that, for people who do like the bingo cards, this is a little bit of a, a side note. We're going to be doing a play of the game bingo on the second channel. So uh, on the second channel, we've been running a uh, play of the game series where we just basically, uh, we have people submit their play of the games. We kind of watch them. It's really fun. We're going to be doing a bingo card with that sometime in the next week. So if you like the bingo videos on the second channel, we'll be having those. All right, let's do this. It's bingo time. Here we go. Farrah Mercy? Wait, really? We have to wait till it starts. If it starts with Farrah Mercy? Wait a second. <laughs> okay, well, there was a Farrah Mercy, let me tell you. All right, what a way to start. All right, well, yeah, there definitely is a Farrah Mercy, okay? There definitely is. Oh, what a start. Farrah Mercy right off the beginning. We have something else here. We'll talk about what that is later. All right, we have, we have a question mark on that one. What a start. For anybody who missed that start and wants to see that start again, there is a fire of mercy. Hi. Five, Get ready for this four, absolute treat. Three, two, here we go. One. Attackers incoming. <laughs> Stop the payload. Talk about a little bit seeing where like teams hold on this map specifically and it was it was funny because the other day someone was like hey well why aren't you like holding right here and it's like a lot of the time on this map specifically holding right here and then playing back and spamming is such a good way to play because it gives you so much like good sight lines the other team can't get as much value so it's always interesting seeing this start in havana i'm just it's, i will say a really good setup on havana if you ever want to like have a, a solid setup you you have your tank here right or you can have them start up here to pound the tank and then you can uh play from up here you can play close too but that's also another setup you can do all right anyway back to that i just wanted to talk about that for a second <laughs> yeah ryan charging in what a treat yeah there we go that ryan's dead yep saw that coming so far this is exactly what we expect to see So, so far, what's been amazing about this is like, it feels like, I don't even, I don't even know what's happening yet. Like, it feels like this has been like an endless team fight where like, you also want to try to help and peel, but then nothing's happening, but you're trying to peel, which isn't bad. Check in to see how your teammates are doing in the back line. It's just, it's interesting. It's like, nothing's really happening. Like everybody's going in one by one. There's just nothing happening. It's just, they're running at your team and that's it. Breaking the Rhine Shield of Steve is really good. It's just like, look at this. It's just everybody goes in one by one. Right? I just don't. I'm trying to figure out what's happening. What the? Okay, just so I understand this there's a Lucio, a Bastion, and a Kiriko right here. And you're looking around and you're like, you know, where is the Rhine? Where where could the Rhine be here to help there? What in the world is going on right now? This Reinhardt went on the flank in 1v5. Watch this, Rhine got here. Everybody went main, Rhine goes, you know what? I've had enough of this. I'm going in. In 1v5 into a charge, it's boofed away into spawn. Don't tell me Ryan gets somebody. Don't tell me Ryan gets somebody. 
There's no way. Oh, okay. Farrah flanks. What just happened? But that's what I mean. Like, the Reinhardt charge into their spawn, and because of that, the Farrah Mercy flank and then get in the limb. I, what a start. I also think, do I have going in 1v5 as a part of this right now? Okay, someone goes in 1v5 already. I mean, that's like guaranteed. You know what? If there's a time where we are going to get a jump shatter, it's going to be with this Reinhardt. I can already tell if we're going to get a jump shatter, it's going to be with this Reinhardt. With that play style, you know it's coming if they don't switch. All right, head back to the Diva now. My ultimate is ready. Let's do this. And then there's something that's really interesting too is, is that you said you play a lot of support and a lot of support a lot of the time is making sure that your other support is like near you and you're able to kind of keep them up outside of when you get like, you know, a TikTok Moira. So I notice a lot as D.Va, and this is actually a really good habit to have as D.Va, is to check on your teammates to be able to peel for them. So it's a very interesting, it's really cool to see that. Like you're constantly trying to make sure your teammates are good. And that actually, believe it or not, is a key to getting better at D.Va. It's because you constantly want to peel and be helpful as well as using your movement. Now, obviously, we're not seeing as much flying, but yeah. Where did that ult even go? I, I, wait a second. Hey, you went for it. You went for it, but that's like... I I'm gonna be honest with you, okay? Did that that actually, believe it or not, is about as well placed of an ultimate that you could do. I didn't. I'm gonna be honest. You could probably do that ultimate a different way that is a little bit safer. So you could technically ult from the back of point and get your ult to do the same thing. But you flew up there and your ult was actually in a perfect spot. Why? They cannot stay in the high ground. It has an angle that could possibly get people through this doorway. That is actually a well-placed ult. Straight up. I, I did not expect that. All right, we're getting to the point where everybody has ults. Chat, get ready. We're about to see a bunch of ults. Here we go. We got a Kiriko ult. We got a Ryan charge in, no surprise. Yeah, I was gonna say, use your flight to get out at that point so the Ryan doesn't do that. Good job, good job. What is this? The team saving their ults? Oh, that ult and nobody, you're right. Good call, we'll add that right now. That ult did miss at everybody. Good call, I didn't even think about that one. Ultimate gets no one. Ooh, chat, we're already... Is there an Ana in this game right now? There isn't, but if we get an Ana at any point, I have a feeling we're gonna see a jump shatter. Actually, let's go watch. Will we see a jump shatter? Will it happen? Lots oh, of big slam. Wait. I have to see this. Let me, let me, is the Ryan going to wait for HP? No, nope, no, nope, Ryan's going in. Doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> the Lucio used B. The Ryan's like, you know what? Good enough for me. Charges right in. They're trying to get their HP back up, just goes in. So far, the alt usage is actually pretty decent. What is a jump shatter? Oh, you'll see what a jump shatter is. Is it Symmetra? Oh, good call. We have that in the bingo card. The jump staying on the Bastion here. You fly up top right, you have this well-placed ultimate. I'm sitting there and I'm going, hey, you know what? That was a very well-placed ultimate. You didn't get anybody, but I like it. This time around, you, a Reinhardt comes charging across for like, watch how far away this is. Just want to point this out, okay? Just watch this. Look where the Reinhardt's charging from at this point, okay? And then Reinhardt charged even sooner than that. You just kind of stay there, you vibe out, you go, all right, whatever. You ult, get rolled by the Rhine. You ult right here. Now, of course, we know this Reinhardt is not gonna help the team. That's not happening. The so Lucio's like, hey, that's, that's a Devo ultimate. And the Bastion goes, 
I don't care. That's fine. The Lucio's like, hey, by the way, just so you know, there's an ultimate right there, Bastion. Bastion's like, you want me to push into the team? All right, I'll keep pushing, but there's an ult right there. Run! <laughs> that was the whole sequence. They're like, all right, well, whatever. Sounds good. And that is the Diva pack, not wrong. Ooh, nice fire strike by the Rhyme. Is it jump shatter time? No, it's run at the mercy and just keep swinging with no HP. Reinhardt's saying I need healing. Jericho is now healing Ryan. That's enough for Ryan to go in. All right, we're going to go back to this Ryan in a second. Got to go back to the Diva. Oh, already has baby Diva. Classic. Huge Pharaoh. Holy crap. Hey, do you know what I'm noticing here, by the way? First of all, let's add Sim to the bingo card, okay? We can we we have, we have Sim on here, right? Yeah, Symmetra. Good call. Good call. I just realized this. All right, Baby Diva needs to get her suit back, okay? But the the Mercy isn't damage boosting the Baby Diva, which would help get the suit back quicker. So just so you know, if you damage boost Baby Diva, that will help get the suit back quicker. But the Mercy's just healing the Baby Diva. Now, resident teammate, which is fine. That, that, this is not... Oh, wait, there it is, there it is! Wait, oh, and they're gone. I just noticed that. Ryan's gonna die again over there. That Ryan takes maximum damage. I don't even have to worry about that Reinhardt doing a jump shatter right now. If there's damage to be had, Ryan will find it. Big slam! But did they jump? I don't think they jumped, but we can double check just in case there was a jump shatter. Here we go. Are you ready? There was a jump shatter! I did, oh, I can't believe it! There it is! The jump shatter, right? Why do you do it? You don't need to do it, but why? It's just you feel like you have to. I, I'm telling you, when you jump shatter, okay? When you jump shatter, you, it just like it, you don't have to do it, but like it just feels like the shatter will do a lot more. It is a big slam. There you go, Ryan jump shattered that. Watch the point of view. Do, do you need to do this? No, but watch Ryan. <laughs> big slam. I knew that was. I could tell right away. If there was a Reinhardt who would ha who would jump shatter for us, it was gonna be this Ryan. You could tell right away with that play style. You could tell right away. All right, what a treat that was. And it won on the fight. It won on the fight. Let's go. Back to the diva. All right. I do want to give a bit of advice right now before we go into the next part of the game here with diva. I actually like the way that you're peeling for your teammates and the way that you're constantly checking around like corners and stuff, like trying to like do that. Keep in mind though, and this is something that I I, I try to help with a little bit with diva. When you're playing D.Va, remember one thing. You're not playing Reinhardt. If you think about the play style of Reinhardt, not, you know, where the Reinhardt charging into the back line. You know how you hold your shield as Rein? And, like, you have that play style? When you play D.Va, don't match that play style. You can take high grounds. You can DM from a range. If you play like Reinhardt and try to 1v1 a Reinhardt, a lot of the time you find yourself just sitting there, doing damage to his shield, and then having to fly away because you take too much damage, right? When people are playing tanks, they'll try to match the playstyle of what the Reinhardt playstyle is. But the playstyle you want to play as D.Va is a lot different than that. Like you can go high ground, you can fly above, you can do rockets from an angle. So remember that a lot of time when you're going up against Reinhardt's? Don't play that, don't play the same playstyle that Ryan's going to play. Right. Also, maximum range, you, at that range you're going to do it. Oh no, here we go! I hear Ryan charging! Oh, everything's happening. Oh, you wait, they canceled the ultimate. Wait, do I have that on the bingo card? Is canceled ultimate on the bingo card? I can't remember. Wait a second, is it? Ultimate countered. That counts. Ultimate countered. Beat was countered right there. All right, perfect. Good job. The Pharah stops the Lucio beat. Here we go. Come on, let's move this halo. We're running out of time. In
All right, we need to talk about something here. We need to talk about something here. All right. One really key aspect of D.Va is you have mobility. So at this point, it is okay. And this is why I know in health packs on the map where they're at too, it's okay to fly over and get the health pack because you spent so much time at low HP. As we've seen, unless you're baby D.Va right now, you're probably not going to be getting healed by the Mercy there. And your Kiriko is all the way over here. So you can go back to your Kiriko, but guess what? Kiriko has nobody to go to. So you have two options. Get your Kiriko or go get a health pack. He has a health pack right here. See? <laughs> if you wonder why I responded that way, in the chat, um, the diva said, wait, there's a health pack there? Yeah, see? Remember, in our 1v5s, I always kind of go around the map and show you where the health packs are because health pack awareness can help so much with that. Look at this. You got some HP right here. Look at that. Health pack right there. See? If you really needed to, you got one right here. Look at that. that that's full HP, basically. See? Health pack awareness can help a ton with that. All right, let's go back here. You can eat, by the way, you can eat Bastion ult, okay? Just so you know, you can eat Bastion ult. You, st you still have my heal here. Either. I swear if this gets anybody. I swear. Okay, I was gonna say. That's a good sim wall, but I, I, I think like... I, I can't... Wait, what is... What is happening right now? I, it, are we gonna see a Farrell or a Sojournel? I swear. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolute classic. I saw that coming. You want to know why? They didn't cap the point. How many people were left in the team? I have no idea how many people were left in the team. I was going to use my soldier. Why not? There it is. Classic. Okay, I can tell you what was happening here. You ready? I know what happened here. What happened here was... Halfway through, you recognize nobody's pushing the cart. Nobody. So you're pinging the cart, you ping a wall, you go, ah, that's good enough. That's good enough. Meanwhile, meanwhile, that's why the cart wasn't being pushed. Pharaoh was just vibing. They were checking something, doing something, minimized. I have no idea. They were changing the song. No, that's fine. That's fine. I do want to talk about something here. So, you, so uh, just a reference we talked about earlier. When you're playing D.Va here, you see where that Reinhardt's at? If you go up here, for example, and you go at this angle, you now have an angle on their Zenyatta and the Reinhardt that's a little bit better than trying to play that Rhine versus Rhine play style, right? Because you're not going to be able to stop that Reinhardt from swinging at you or doing things like that. Right? So that was in reference to what I was talking about earlier. That is a good way, that is a good idea of like what I mean by going high ground and not playing the Rhine versus Rhine. Now getting the Zen here is a great play. But you can start high ground and not have to worry about the Rhine in general. What is going on? Oh, we got a 1v1. We got a 1v1. Here we go, here we go. That's, you can get both of them. Go, go get the Ash. You can get that Ash. Ah, here we go. Here we go. That was a default. Uh, yep. <laughs> um, do you have the sound option? Basically, what I say by the sound option is also an option where you can hear your enemies getting. Uh, I haven't, I haven't enabled it yet either. Where you can hear your teammates getting kills too. In that situation, you probably don't even need a diva ult because you got like three limbs on the kill feed, three, four limbs. At that point, you can wait. I also love how that Zenyatta hit that one shot. <laughs> I love how that Zenyatta hit the one shot. That's amazing. Good res, good res. Oh no, it comes a ride! Get back in your suit! Oh, there we go. Huge. Is like, listen, I just Zen ulted, okay? I don't know. There's, there's this thing, all right? Where, like, when you Zen ult, you almost feel like you're powering up, right? You no, know I just realized, by the way, this whole time, we've had 
We had the sub count on the bottom right just sitting there in the middle of the open. Listen, Cube will fix it! Cube will fix it in post, okay? All right, so back to this play so I can just kind of catch up on this. There is just something, all right, about when you play Zenyatta, when you, when you use your ult, you just have like this thing where you feel like you powered up, right? You use your ult and you go, I'm about to go dominate right now. And then you'll just end up on their front line and you're like, you know what? I just ulted, okay? I just ulted. I am ready. And then you end up on the front line and you go, this wasn't a good idea. This was not, this was not the play, but it's fun, you know? All right, speaking of that, do I have anything here I've missed on the bingo card so we can add this very quickly? DPS support, I, you know what? I'm gonna count that as DPS support. I really believe that's DPS support at that point. You know what I'm saying? Alright, we'll go back to the Diva here. I like this aggression here. Ooh, I'm gonna be honest. I like that peel. That right there, by the way, is what I talked about. You had a chance at the Ash, but that ability to go back and peel for your teammates, that is a good mindset to have as Diva. I like that. Good play. I actually like that with the window. Now you're kind of going in front of the window, but it's fine. Woo! Ooh, ooh. Something that you can do as Diva, by the way. And I've had people in my chat go like, why are you DMing your Pharah? All right? When your Pharah ults, my first reaction there is to DM my Pharah. You go, why? You're not, you can't eat their damage, but you can eat the damage going towards your teammate. So remember, when your Pharah uses their ultimate and you're within range, it is totally fine to DM your Pharah because that can literally win you a team fight just like that and your Pharah won't die. Because everybody knows that usually when you ult as Pharah, you're usually going back to spawn pretty quickly, right? Even if you get in the limb, usually you trade with that ultimate. When I use Pharah ult, well, I play more of a Flora on the ground type of play style. So maybe I'll be behind the Reinhardt shield at that point, but that's a little bit different. You know, it's just, it's just, it's just a play style difference, you know? Everybody use their ults? Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, that, that, that is like everybody use their ults. I mean, it's, it's let, let's, let, let, like, here's the thing about some of the bingo cards here, right? Was that Mercy Res in the middle of the team? Where was it? Where was the Mercy Res at? I, I will find out right now. Let's find out. Uh, I, I don't think so. I think there was too many uh, dead at that point. I think there was too many dead at that point. So like, I, I wouldn't say that. But I do, I, th I do think, believe it or not, we have another question mark done. And I'll explain that one. All right, I forgot to, to talk about the other one. But I, do, I think we definitely have two. Right. Let me get ahead to this part of the, the bingo video. All right. Let me pause this. So, we have, um, let me go to the bingo card here and, okay, we definitely, okay, let me just double check to make sure I have this right on the, on the question mark here. Um, yeah, 100%. What else did I miss here? Did I miss anything else? Everyone uses their ultimates? I mean, I'll be honest with you. We can check that box off. Everybody use their ultimates at some point there. It, it, it's like everyone uses their ultimates is almost a free space right now. Oh, you can't see the card? Listen, all right. So, okay, let's do this again, Chat, you ready? Here we go. So the question marks, we have two of them. The first one we had was right at the beginning of the game. Here's my hint to that one. It's a hero. Keep in mind, this is at the beginning of the game. This is at the beginning of the game. At the beginning. Right at the beginning when that Farah died. See, yeah, some people in chat got it right. It was Mercy. It was Mercy. Ooh, that worked. Well, I mean, actually, technically that one can't count, but I can just do this. Does that one count? Nope. One second, one second. It was this one up top. Okay, the other one that we have here. Wait, did I just heck all this up? Wait, what am I doing? How did I manage to do that? Oh, one second. Mercy. Question mark. Give me a second. I, th this is scuffed. Okay, there we go. All right. The other one we have here. We've had this pretty much on every bingo card. And it, it, it just describes a lot of the play style. It's still messed up? Wait, how do I still have two mercy? Well, no. I'm editing this mercy space. This mercy space is getting edited. This is the other question mark. There, see? That's the other question mark. I'm editing that one. 
This one happens pretty much in every single one we've seen. It happens all the time. I don't even know where to mark it on the bingo card because it's, it's just, it just happens. Okay, one person in chat got it right. I'm just gonna edit it now. Long team fight. It was a long team fight. Okay, also, also, did you say I hecked up the bingo card? Wait, what? Oh, I see. Attack friendly equipment was not there. DPS support. Okay, I had to fix it, right? Is that, is that fixed now? And then ultimate countered? Is that fixed? Oh, spray and spawn was checked off? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, you're right. I don't know how I managed to... Oh, someone goes in 1v5. I, now I almost have two bingos. I don't know what happened. I don't know how I managed to do that. But, whoa, look at the bingo card shifted a little bit. Ultimate gets no one? Yeah, look at that. I have no idea how we managed to do that. If anything, that's impressive. If anything, that's impressive. We managed to change the bingo card. I have no idea how that happened. All right. We good to go? Is everything else good? Oh, friendly ability. Wait, how did I? Don't worry, Cuber will fix it in post. It's fine. I swear if somebody walks out of this doorway right now, they are not going to have a good time. Attackers incoming. But they don't expect this. Ah, there it is. Unexpected. See, the strategy there, okay? was they were going to put a junk rat, junk rat trap, and they saw that, but they didn't expect the sim turrets that are... What the heck are the sim turrets even doing? What are the... What in the world is this? Absolute classic. Oh, and the Rhine died because they turned around for some reason. Meanwhile, the Ana's DPSing. Oh, well, yeah. Well, that's what we expected there. Let's right, head back to the Diva now. Now keep in mind, a lot of this long range damage you're doing right there is only basically, I guess it's feeding your support's charge, but it's also just giving them free ultra at that point. Like, that range right there is okay to try to do that, but when you're trying to shoot them for like one damage across the map, sometimes they'll do that for like 1% ultra, even though it's not a lot of damage. But like, it's, it's, not really doing as much damage on that. So sometimes you can work on like going for position, taking high ground, things like that. Uh oh, yep. Yep. And when you're playing aggressive and trying to play it's Reinhardt there. Here we go. Uh oh, we got a sit wall. Oh yeah, everybody's popping their ults now again. It's happening. Everybody's ulting. Oh yeah. We see a diva ult now to really... Oh, no diva ult. But still, that was like so many ults. All right, listen. Chat, we're gonna go take a look at the Ana for a second. We need this Ana to accidentally nano that fast. If, if, if Ana does, we get a bingo. Oh, this is, this is setting up perfectly. The soldier and the bath are near each other. Oh, it's time. It's time. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch there. Who's getting nano? Oh, it went to Ryan. All right, we go back now. Popping all their else. Oh, no! Ah! Oh, no! But yeah, so just a little bit of like a, an extra addition to what I've talked about. When you're playing D.Va, remember that trying to fly out? Like, don't try to fly out when you have 50 HP. You can do it at like 300 and still get back into the team fight pretty quickly. Because otherwise you get d max as we're seeing. Also health max, yeah. What is... Oh, they went Moira now. Well, there goes that. We'll check the Widow for grapples later. Don't you worry. We got this. We will. I, I love the commitment to everybody in your team going behind the shield except for the Sim who ran forward. Oh, another example that you could have done here, by the way, right, is 
if you flew up here, right there, rather than flying to the Rhine, you could actually get their back line and then also get the card in time. So that's like another like play style that you could like do with that, where you don't play that like Rhine armor. Yep. They're playing Mystery Heroes, we gotta see. If they switch like to another hero after Junkrat, then yes, absolutely. Uh, yep. Moria's kind of vibing right now. I'm curious to see what this Moria will do after, because we saw them flanking his Ana, right? Wait. Oh yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is this is definitely a flank support. Ooh, the tire limp. Now where's Diva during? Oh, baby Diva. Listen, I too also have a lot of practices, baby Diva. Don't worry. I, too, have a lot of practice with Baby Diva. But that's how my Baby Diva's gotten so good. You know, you, at that point, you're just going, you know, why, why are you at a mecha launch? I'm practicing Baby Diva. You can tell they're going to fade up top. Wait. Uh-oh. Oh, oh this, this Moira is on the flank. This is the TikTok Moira play style. Better watch out. Wait, huge Diva hole. We got to go back. What happened? There it is. Ryan died to it! I don't know how! The shield broke! Huge play! Huge play. You can also eat the Junkrat mines when they go on the ground, just so you know. Dude. That way, if like when a Junkrat dies and they drop the mines, you can eat those. On the Moira! Nice job! Good play! I, I don't know how anybody died to that or what that was, but we'll see. Oh, that's a big slam. The jump shatter again, by the way. Yep, there it is. Yeah, oh yeah. Woo! That was worth watching. Everybody's just kind of taking 1v1. This Bastion should, like, in theory, this Bastion should be dead here in a second. With this position, yeah. Well, the reason why I said that, by the way, the reason why I said that, that Bastion's up here by themselves. Nobody's even remotely there to help. If that Bastion stays there, they're, they're just dead there. And that's exactly what we just saw. Now, you have a 2v5 here. What's the reaction? I like what you're doing here is D.Va flying to that Junkrat. Isolating them in the 1v1. Here it is. There's the Junkrat 1v1. Oh, that's a classic unlucky. Was there three 1v1s there? I mean, honestly, there probably was. Wait, was there? Let me see. Watch from this point of view. No! No, that wasn't three 1v1s. All right, here we go. Oh, also, I think if I'm correct here. Yes, we do have a question mark checked off. We'll go back to that in a little bit, all right? But we do have a question mark checked off. Will we have the Bastion ult that stacks on everybody? Or will we have a well-placed Bastion ult? We're about to find out. Here we go. We got the, the Venn diagram. Every time, stack it on one person. You know what? Unless this bat lamps, they're probably dead. I, you know, I'm telling you, that is the classic Bastion ult we see. It works every time. No, it doesn't. But it, it seems like it works sometimes. It can jump there too. Yes, absolutely can jump there too. Oh, here we go. I gotta watch this. Huge tire. Where I can't get to him on the. There it is. I wanna watch this tire. Also, the Devolt got nobody. Here we go. That was a junk rat tire. Yep. I want to double. Wait a second. Did that mercy just revive you in the middle of the team? Wait a second. Okay. One thing I will say, by the way, and I want to show you this from this point of view: your ultimates that you're doing, you're going too far on them. So you can you go to the practice range and practice that. 
You want to release them a little bit sooner. Watch what's happening to your ultimate here. You ready? So when you do that, like, spin move and you, like, go up into the air and try to, like, flick the ult into the air, like, you, you, you're you like, okay, that will help the momentum. Look at the, the Diva Bomb goes. Wee! <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's like, here we go. Wee! Okay. Like, it just goes, like, two feet in the air and then falls down. But then obviously when you do that, you're also in front of their spawn, which is why you'd want to be further away. They get you, and then Mercy just goes in and just reses in front of the team. Like this, this in my opinion, counts as resin in front of the team. Because look where you're getting resed at. Look where their team's at. Also, look what happens to Mercy. Come here. Wait a second. I didn't even see that part. Wait a second. Ryan's like, you know what? How dare you res that diva? You're going with me! Let's go! Didn't try to cancel charge. Went right off the map. That's exactly what we expect. And now, we have all the different 1v1s. We have this and that. We have a Moira ult with, uh, at the end of a team fight, which doesn't even make any sense for that one. Let's go check off that bingo card very quickly, because we got a couple right there. Actually, we got one. We got... Mercy revives in the middle of the other team. Ability randomly used. You know what? Let's go back. Let's see. What does this count? It could count. Let's see. Not really. No. They were trying to kill the power. It wasn't at random. It wasn't at random. All right, Diva's dead there again. Let's watch the mercy. Charge wasn't random. They're trying to charge the mercy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. Back to the diva. The diva's up. Huge! Nice play! Good job! Alright, so I want to check two things here, alright? Is there a spray in spawn? Is that a spray? Okay, there you go. We found a spray! It exists! Spray and spawn. There we go. All right. And now, does the widow heck up grapple? We will find out. The payload is under my protection. Join. How vexing. Wait a second. How vexing. And there it is. There it is. All right. Now let me tell you why that one counts. All right. Because I do this on widow. Chat does this probably on Widow. Okay, you ready? Watch what the crosshair is. So in their mind, they're grappling to go here to get to the team, right? Like, look where the crosshair is. In that Widow's mind, like, they're going to go They're gonna go main. It's going to go to the ground, right? Instead, it goes up here and they're like, oh, wait, what? Oh, wait, what? Oh, that definitely counts. There you go. Widow hecked up the grapple. Finally happened. Now, I want to see one more thing. This Soldier 76 switched immediately. After being Genji, does they stay on soldier or do they switch? That's the question. I want to see something here. Stayed on soldier, okay. Widow was on Widow Junkrat. Widow or Soldier Junkrat, Soldier Junkrat, Soldier Junkrat. I don't see any mystery here. here. No, that was consistent. Now maybe on the first round. Wait a second though. We have a May. We have a May. Into a Sim. Into an Ash. Into a Widow. I don't know. That's like six different heroes, five different heroes. I mean, it's not like consistently switching heroes, but that technically is, is a deep hero pool there. I feel like I'm going to let chat decide on this one because, listen, if we if we check this box off, we have a bingo card, all right? But I'm going to let chat decide. If you think this counts to get a bingo as mystery heroes, which, by the way, wasn't like a bad selection of heroes. They were playing well on those heroes. Type one in the chat if you think this should count. Type two if you think that is not counted. If I see more ones and twos, this is going to count. Is it, it okay? Here's the thing. I am seeing enough twos. This doesn't count. I don't know. It, it's tough to say. 
here's the thing about mystery heroes, and let me let me let me give you the vision of what I think mystery heroes would be. Playing a bunch of heroes in a game because you're switching based off of like what they're playing. War isn't quite mystery heroes. My vision of mystery heroes is you spawn, you run out of spawn doors, you get one shot by a widow, you go, okay, I can't do this, I'm gonna go Genji. You go Genji, you die as Genji immediately, go, you know what, that's not gonna work, I'm gonna go Tracer, and you do that all within like three minutes. That is my vision of mystery heroes. So you know what, as much as I wanna get this bingo, I did see enough twos in the chat where like, I feel like if we just took the bingo there, then that's not actually what mystery heroes is. You say it counts? All right, chat, you tell me if this is a good idea here. So a lot of people in chat have said they think it counts, but how about this? How about on top of this, we will also have in the YouTube comments whether or not this one should count. So it could be upvoted as in like, it counts, it doesn't count, and then we'll know going to the next bingo episode if this counted as a bingo. So if you think this counts as a bingo, or that should be a bingo, we'll see in the comments. I hope that you enjoyed this bingo card. These have been a ton of fun if you've been enjoying them. Like I said, thank you a ton. Um, what heroes would you like to see in bingo? I asked at the beginning of the video. You heard at the end of the video too? Heck yeah. Tell me what heroes you would like to see on bingo. Like I said, if you also like bingo cards in general, we're going to be doing play of the game bingos on the second channel, which, you, which is the second channel. You'll see it on the, on the channels list. And we'll, uh, we'll continue on with some more of these. Thanks for watching. Appreciate y'all. And I hope y'all have an amazing day slash night. Oh, like the video, sub to the channel. And yes, the third one, which we have de we definitely didn't forget to do, was... Flank and support. Flank and support was the... That's... It was, <laughs> it was flank and support, we didn't forget. Q rule fixed it in post, okay?